welcome to this week's look at action on film and we're in 1980. Yes, I know I said 1978 last week, but I was tired. So 1980 and it's our old friend Roger Moore in North Sea Hijack or if you're in the States it was called Folks with two Fs um, and was probably where my love of the beard started. Uh, Roger, bless him, couldn't grow one. Uh, well, not fully anyway. Had this big bushy thing here at the front uh, and uh, did his best with what he got. But um, it was one of those interim periods between Bonds and uh, he was getting a name for himself as the hero. And here he was the kind of anti-hero because he was the hero of the picture. Uh, but he was also a very plain speaking individual. Um, but uh, action wise, it was full on. You've got a, a stunt team made up of a number of professionals. Uh, his men, folks, his men are made up of stunt professionals. Uh, there's a number of nice little bits that pop up along the way. And again, if you haven't seen it, then I, I urge you to do so. Maybe watch this after you've seen the movie. You know, physically make a point of going to see it. It's on YouTube. You can uh, you can watch it direct from there. Um, if you have it in your collection, I suspect many of you will have it in your collection, then do make a point of uh, taking a look at it and, uh, and enjoying it for what it is. The combination between Roger Moore and James Mason is really great. And um, uh, somebody said to me it was the first time outside of Psycho that they'd seen something that Anthony Perkins had done and enjoyed it. Well, I quite enjoyed him in uh, Murder on the Orient Express, if you uh, if you remember. He was in that um, as, uh, as one of the assistants uh, to Richard Widmark, I believe, in that picture. But, you know, again, good cast. Um, it's uh, one of those pictures that uh, certainly wasn't thrown together and, and uh, it was there's a lot of work and effort gone into it and it's a good action flick uh, which we will now have a look at in a bit more depth and I don't mean just depth because a lot of it's underwater but uh, let's have a look and see what we can come up with with North Sea Hijack. So, North Sea Hijack or folks depending on which side of the pond you were on I prefer North Sea Hijack, really. You don't see many movies that start with two small Fs, do you? Um, the Chief Officer Death, we'll start with that. And it is, of course, George Leach, who plays uh, Magnuson and uh, gets shot. And then they decide to dump him overboard. Look, now, this is in the Irish Sea. They did part of this in the Irish Sea. Uh, Richard Graydon is uh, one of the crew. And as they're waiting, there's George disappearing past a lot of them uh, into the water. And of course, you know, he's got, to, he's got to get in the water, he's got to bob to the surface, and he's got to lie there and wait for the boat to come and collect him. It doesn't just spin around and pick him up again. So I don't know how long he was treading water for. I suspect there were a team of divers in the water to help him out there. The training exercise, um, which takes place, of course, uh, folks has... Uh, preview of this. There's Clive Curtis. He's not in the team as such. It's an early performance but he's playing one of the guys there. He's being attacked by Joe Dunn uh, for the purpose of this exercise. A big hand is going to turn up on this chap's face. There we are. Look, Greg Powell uh, is uh, I think he plays Dawson. Oh, his character has a name, Dawson, in this particular one. This is Billy Dean. Billy Dean, stuntman um, who is part of that team as well. And then here is... Uh, our man, folks, who decides to jump up here. Uh, Stacy, Eddie, Stacy's doubling uh, Roger, and uh, into the water goes Jack Cooper. And then this bit of dialogue. Exercise completed. To the second. Harris. Could turn that camera off now. Dawson, off! Yes, sir! And there's Greg and Billy Dean in character. Three, two, go! All right, gentlemen, we will take a break. Back in 40 minutes. How are we doing, sir? 
Like plowmen at a bloody knitting convention. We're improving, then. <laughs> So, getting aboard Esther, and uh, this is going to be used with a, there's a, like a dome net underneath, and of course uh, everybody gets on board, that's being hung underneath the helicopter, and the helicopter then lifts the net into the air, and they get transferred over. Of course, it's not the actors doing this. It's Martin Grace, Joe Dunn, and Jack Cooper doing the doubling. He's got to put them down in the right place. The, the the work, the miniature work in this picture is magnificent. John Richardson, I believe, in charge of that special effect. It's quite spectacular. He comes down and lands. Martin Grace sporting a beard on this occasion, of course, doubling for Roger. And studio shot and they land now they're going to get one addition on the way back come on Lou I did my part you did your part I got you on board you got us on board go ahead good luck to you it's just not going to work his way is it you know it's not that guy, of course, is the guy that shot uh, George Leach earlier on in the picture. Gets on board, starts to get lifted up. And that's good night, Vienna. Joe Dunn doing the doubling here. Gets shot and then a fairly hefty fall off that. But nonetheless, the, the, the doubling on this picture is very good, I think. Now, of course, he jumps into the water in the tank. And then underneath the water, that is Malta. Much clearer. The camera guys don't have heart attacks every time they look under the water. You don't have to do additional lighting. Um, it's probably night for day shots, I would imagine, they've put on here. And then, of course, climbing up the rope. So you've got um, folks who now starts to climb the rope from the anchor, presumably, climbing up. And that's uh, that's going to be Mark McBride doing the doubling there. There he is, a little shot of him. He starts to make his way up. The team are in place. There's Joe Dunn again. Everybody looking very, very... Wary. So terrific. This is a set, though. I mean, this is absolutely spectacular. Oh, somebody else just got collared. This guy's going to get one as well. And Greg's going to. There we go. Look. Now, this guy here attacked Mark McBride again, turns up, dispatches him rather unpleasantly. Look, knife in the neck. That's not the way you want to go, is it? Hold this, boy. Roger, it's a girl, very clearly. You can't tell the difference, bless him. Spent all of that time drinking whiskey and looking after cats, I imagine that's where that's come from. He's now then attacked by Harris, who's one of his own men, although I suspect for this particular moment in the picture, it's Joe Dunn who's going to get limped over the side. And then a question. Bloody fool. <laughs> Bloody idiot. That's the prize. Moving about stealthily. A cigarette, Kramer. You ought to give those up, then. Boom, got him. Have a go at that. Now the teams are in place. Running about all over the decks. Where the hell is Harris? Someone threw him over the side. <laughs> Oops. Running about here just to get into position. They've added additional people here as well, which I think is interesting. But that's Joe Dunn again. And then when it cuts to the other side after the second shot, here comes the second one. It's Frank Mayer. Frank Mayer, a legend in the business, of course, uh, was responsible for doubling oh, many over Cooper, the years. get below and release the crew. Tell them it's all over. And that's him there, you see. Um, 
Al Mazzetti joins him. Frank Mayer, of course, was Patrick McGowan's double uh, for many years. Here's the guys, Mark McBride, Billy Dean, Greg Powell and Jack Cooper. And uh, the final credit goes to Eddie Stacy as stunt supervisor. Well, there we go. That is North Sea Hijack and very satisfying it is too. Nice to see Frank Mayer making an appearance there at the end as well, which I thought was rather nice. Um, now, what are we going to do next week? Well, we go from Roger Moore to Connery. We're going in a different direction, but Connery is ably assisted by Nicolas Cage. We're going to have a look at this, The Rock. Possibly one of the finest movies ever made, in my opinion. Uh, it's got everything. It's got great action, it's got it's funny, and it has a completely pointless car chase, uh, but hugely entertaining nonetheless. So we're going to have a look at that, and uh, we will catch up uh, again next time. Don't forget to check out the podcast on the Wednesday and uh, the link down there at the bottom is uh, where you will find me on all of your social medias um, and you can go and check out the Pod Dojo Network as well and they uh, of course uh, are behind the podcast so you can check out all of their pods as well and we will regroup next time for more of the same so until then bye for now <laughs>